Hey everybody, welcome to your 15 minute full body workout. My name is Lucy Dunn. I'm the founder of Dunbells, which is online personal training. And so many people have been requesting these workouts. A lot of us are home right now. We're trying to make it work with the equipment we've got and I'm pumped to be able to bring this workout to you. We're gonna do it together. We have five different moves. We're gonna go through three rounds. You're gonna be out of here quicker than you can even imagine, feeling more amazing than ever. If you have something heavy around the house, go and grab that now. If you have a set of weights, even better. We are going for 45 seconds on of the movement and then we're gonna go 15 seconds of rest. I'm right here with you every step of the way. So let's go ahead, make your way back to your spot. Let's get started. First move, we have our front raise to hammer curl. So one arm at a time on that front raise, one arm at a time on that hammer curl. Get that arm nice and straight, nice and high on the front raise. We're here for 45 seconds. Try and feel that connection with your muscle. As you raise it up, you should feel this in your shoulders, in your chest, on the hammer curl. We're going for those biceps. Let's go. 15 seconds left. You don't have to stay with me if this is too fast. It's a video, remember, you can pause it, take it at your own pace. Here we go, final five seconds, then we rest. There we go, drop those weights. Next move is a crunch with a push-up, so meet me in this high plank position. We're gonna bring one knee to our elbow at a time, and then we drop into that push-up. Three, two, one. Let's go. At your own pace. If push-ups are not in the card for you today, you can drop to your knees. You can do them against a wall or a bench. For this movement, I probably would recommend sticking to your knees just so you can keep up the pace. But we all know if we do push-ups on our knees now, we'll be doing them forever. Keep those elbows in nice and close to your body. 15 seconds, come on. Get those knees up to your elbow as best you can. We got this. Final five, four, three, two, and out of there. We're going back to that strength, back to those weights. Row to kick back. Bend in the hips, hinge forward. We're gonna row up and kick it back. Hit those triceps and those back muscles at the same time. Here we go. We're going. So we row up, pause for a second, kick it back. If that kick back is too hard for you, too heavy, you can lower the weights, or you can simply remove that part and just stick to a normal row. Whatever feels good for you today. If you're feeling this in your lower back, simply come up, reset, push that butt backwards. Here we go. Remember to breathe, building that strength. We got this. Good. Keep going. Oh, I know you can. We got this. We got flies after this. Yes. Take that rest. Put down the weights if you feel like it. Otherwise, hold on to them. We're in that same hinged position. This time we're flying to the side. Option to do one arm at a time. Three, two, one. Let's go. More challenging is both arms at the same time. If you're starting to lose your form or it just feels too heavy, simply turn that into single arm, getting it nice and high, opening up that chest, strengthening those back muscles, improving our posture. Again, if you feel this in your lower back, come up, reset, send those hips backwards. Come on, we got this. You're so strong. Get those weights nice and high. Relax your neck. You can do it. One at a time if it gets too heavy. Three, two, one. Yes, nice job. Plank walk out with an optional push up. So we're gonna come down, touch our toes, walk that out into a high plank position. If this is it for you today, you can walk it back up. Otherwise, we got that push up. Let's go, keep the pace here, nice and fast. Try to get that chest to the floor. We can make it easy, or we can make it super effective by getting the full range of motion. I know which one you're choosing. 
Come on, we're nearly through our first round. Let's finish strong. Stand all the way back up. Don't cheat yourself. Full push up, come on. You can do it, 15 seconds. I know, breathe. We got this. Five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Come back to the top. So we've got that front raise into the hammer curl, picking up those weights nice and safely. You've already done one round. You know you can do it now. Here we go. Three, two, one. One arm at a time with both the front raise and the hammer curl. Focusing on form. It's not a race. We can do hard things. And it's so much better when we do them together. Come on, breathe. Get those weights nice and high to eye level on the front raise. Tap your shoulders on the hammer curl. We got this. 15 seconds. Second round. Then we just have one left. You're practically done. How cool is that? Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. We've got those crunches, knee to elbow, with the push-up. We can do this. I know you can. Here we go, team. We got the crunch, the crunch on both sides, then the push-up. If the push-up is not in it for you today at all, simply just bringing your knee to elbow, getting that core nice and strong. Remember, listen to your body, do what feels good. If you're with me, we've got these full push-ups, full crunch. Let's go. 15 seconds, hold on to it. Breathe. Elbows stay nice and close to our body on the push-up. No bat wings, five seconds, come on. Three, two, we're out of there. Good job, breathe. We've got those rotor kickbacks. Picking up the weights nice and safely. Bend the knees. Remember on these rotor kickback, we hinge the hip first. Here we go. Nice. We row it up, we kick it back. Neck is neutral. Find a spot to look on the ground just ahead of you. Remember to breathe. If the kickback is not an option for you, row it out. Come on. You got this. We got flies after this. I know, those moves together are a little cruel, but you'll thank me later, I promise. Let's go. 10 seconds, hold on to it. Lots of reps. You can do it. Three, two, one. Yes, and out of there. Breathe, take your rest, you deserve it. We've got these flies, so remember we're bent in the same position. We're either one arm at a time, or both arms together. Two, one. We've got the most aggressive alarm system. The most aggressive timer. Makes me feel like I'm about to go into like, I don't know, a boxing match. We're going to war. We got this. It's kind of like that, right? But this is our time. This is your sacred time, your workout space. 15 seconds. Relax the neck. Bring those arms nice and high. Good. So good for improving our posture, especially if we're working at a desk. Two, one. Let that go. We're nearly into our last round, but first, we've got the plank walkouts with the optional push up. Come on, I want these to be faster than the last round, okay? We got this. Three, two, one. Pick up that piece. We got it. You can do it. We just have one last round after this. Breathe. Use those shoulders, use that core. 
Come on, keep going. I know. It's tough. You're like me, you're sweating. 15 seconds. We got this. You can do it. Final five. Two, one. Yes. Last round. How good does that feel? We got our front raise to hammer curl. And then we're out of here. We can do this. Last stretch. One at a time. Your other option on the front raise is to hit it both. Hammer curl both. Whatever feels good for you this last round. There is nothing after this. No secret burpees. No hidden core work. Leave it all here. So, if that means both arms at once, let's go. If it means single arm, you do you. You're here, you already did the hard part. Now we just go through the motions. 10 seconds. Hold on to it. Three, two. Nice. You're gonna like love that sound by the end of it because that means you get to rest. We got our crunch with our push up. Five seconds, let's go. Three, two. Crunch both sides, then the push up. Come on, if you haven't tried any full push ups yet, now's your time. It's okay if you just can do one. One is better than none. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I see you. I feel them as well, don't worry. Elbows stay in nice and close. Breathe. 15 seconds. Then we'll go to our rotor kickback. Whew. I know. Who made this workout? Five, four, three, two. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. We've got our rotor kickback. We're hitting those shoulder muscles. We're hitting those triceps. Triceps make up two thirds of that arm. We have to strengthen them. Push your hips back. Row, kick it back. Come on. We got two moves left. Then you're done. Last two moves. Let's do it. Remember to breathe. Relax your neck. Try and bring those shoulders down away from your ears. You feel this in your lower back. Come up. Reset. Send your hips back. 15 seconds. Come on, don't stop. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Final five, four, three, two. Get out of there. Nice. We have our flies, bent over flies. Here I am putting the weight down like I think we're done. But not yet, not quite yet. Five seconds. Hinge at the hip, send them back. Let's go. One arm at a time or both. Challenge yourself. Find that sweet spot where it kind of hurts a little, but you can keep going because you're strong. Let's go, we got one move after this. Then you're free. Breathe. Let's do it. If you need to switch to one arm, here's your demo. It's like a pendulum. I think that's what that's called. I was trying to figure that out the other day. It might not be called that at all, <laughs> but it looks cool. Five, four, three, two, yes. And out of there. Last move, you knew it was coming. We're walking out so fast. We're busting out push-ups, and then we're done. Come on, drive it home. This is your last move, last chance. Leave it all. Yes. Feels good, doesn't it? All it takes is just a few minutes to yourself. And you're doing it. That's all. 
So as you're doing these last reps, give yourself a smile. Come on, breathe. 15 seconds. Don't stop. We go all the way through to the end. Three, two, one. Yay! We're done. Wow. We even got like a cheer squad going with that timer. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked this video, if you are like dripping with sweat like I am and you just feel really good, go ahead, put in the comments what your favorite workout move was. I'm so excited to see you for more of these. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked what you see here, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.